Hello and welcome dear traders and investors. I'm glad to present you the daily market review prepared by analysts and experts from fx.cu portal. Here we go. Here is the May 17 and we're starting from euro dollar pair with Jakub Novak as usual. But first, let's have a look on 5 minute chart for analyzing yesterday's transactions. The test of 1.886 happened when the MACD line was quite far from zero, so the upward potential was limited. By midday there was a downward movement and an update of 1.0882, but the MACD line still far from zero, so the purchases resulted in losses. Correction in Euro did not continue as reports indicated with data on business sentiment in both Germany and the Eurozone. The second estimate for the first quarter GDP was also lower than expected, and data on US retail sales turned demand for dollar, leading to a further decline in Euro dollar pair. Today's reports on the Eurozone Consumer Price Index and core prices will be decisive. A further increase in inflation will push Euro up. However, the speech of ECB board member Frank Alderson is unlikely to help buyers. Prolong positions by Euro when the level of 1.0871 is reached, and then take profit at the price of 1.0905. Growth will be seen if there is a surge inflation in the Eurozone. However, before buying, traders should make sure that the MACD line is above zero or is starting to rise from it. Euro can also be bought after two consecutive price tests of 1.0848. But the MACD line should be in an oversold area this time, as only by that will the market reverse to 1.0871 and 1.0905. For short positions, sell Euro when the level of 1.0848 is reached, and then take profit at the price of 1.0813. Pressure will return if there is no price growth in the Eurozone. However, when selling traders should make sure that the MACD line is below zero, or is starting to move down from it. Euro can also be sold after two consecutive price tests of 1.0871. But the MACD line should be in an overbought area this time, as only by that will the market reverse to 1.0848 and 1.0813. Gold, sweet gold. We got a trading plan for this commodity asset, presented by Dimitris Tsapas. Early in the European session, gold is trading around 1992. Below the 200 EMA, and below the 21 SMA. On the chart above, we can see that gold is trading within a bearish trend channel, formed since May. Yesterday, in the American session, gold reached the low of 1986. Since then, we have observed a technical bounce. And now, the price could face strong resistance around the daily pivot point located at 1997. In case gold returns above the psychological level of $2,000, we could expect it to continue rising. The instrument could reach the 21 SMA, located at 2009, and finally, it could face the top of the downward channel, which could act as a strong resistance. If gold gains bullish momentum and breaks above 2010,
this could be the start of the bullish scenario. And in the short term, it could reach plus 1.8 Murray, located at 20.62. Conversely, in case gold trades below 1995, below 200 EMA, we expect bearish pressure to prevail. So the metal could reach 1971, which was tested on April 21. And this support is broken. It could accelerate its downward movement to the 78 Murray level located at 19.37. As gold trades within a downward trend channel, we could expect it to move around 19.10 to 19.37 support. The Eichel indicator reached the oversold zone. Gold could gain momentum above 20.10 and start a new bullish cycle. Our trading plan for the next few hours is to sell below the psychological level of $2,000 with targets at 1970 and 1937. The levels above 2010 could be seen as an opportunity to buy as these will mean gold has broken the bearish channel and could start a new uptrend. Here's the technical analysis of intraday price movement of crude oil commodity asset. Area of Mockmore presents. Crude oil on its 4-hour chart still moving inside the bearish bias condition. Where this thing's confirmed by the appearance of bearish 1, 2, 3 pattern followed by a bearish Ross hook. The price movement is moving in a channel that is swooping down. Current price is below EMA 50. CCI indicator, which cannot break above the level zero. Based on the four facts about then, in the nearest future, as long as CL does not correct it upward, exceeds the level 73.87 then these commodity asset will try to fall below the level of 69.50 and if it's successfully broken then it will try to continue its decline to the level of 67.48 And finally, here's Laurie Bailey with USD GPY pair focused. Let's have a look. The dollar yen pair is rising for the fifth consecutive day. The Marlin oscillator is slightly turning downside on the daily chart. This may be a sign of imminent consolidation. Overall, the target for the upper line of the price channel at 138.50 remains, despite the current market noise. We have an uptrend. This morning, optimistic data on the Japanese economy were released. GDP in the first quarter grew by 0.4% against the forecast of 0.1%. Annual growth was 1.6% against the expected 0.7%. Consumer spending in the first quarter increased by 0.6% against economists' expectations of 0.4%. The data showed down the dollar's growth against the yen. 
the stock index Nikkei 225 at 0.72% amid declines in stock markets in China and Australia. Stock markets in Indonesia and South Korea are rising. That's all for today. See you online soon. Good luck.